Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Viva Connections, an amazing way to bring your intranet in Microsoft Teams, desktop, web, and mobile as well. Imagine that you have the multilingual option turned on in your SharePoint home site. The dashboard of Viva Connections is displayed in a unique way. So if you switch language between English and Italian or German, you will see always the same Viva Connections dashboard with the same language. Luckily, Microsoft has offered in these days the option to turn on the multilingual support for the dashboard of Microsoft Viva Connections as well. Now I'll show you how you can turn on the multilingual option in Viva Connections and I'll show you how you can even make the adaptive cards multilingual. Okay, let's jump on my PC. This is my SharePoint home site. Here on the right, I have my Viva Connections dashboard. This site is available in English because this is my favorite language in SharePoint. Now, when I want to switch between languages, all I need to do is click on this drop down English, German, and Italian. The dashboard is displayed always with the same language. But as I mentioned, luckily Microsoft has offered the option to create additional dashboard for every language. This means that if I click on the wheel icon here in the upper right corner, and if I click on set up Viva Connections and then view dashboard, I will land on this dashboard. This is the English version of the dashboard because my language, my default language is English. Now, what to do if I want to create a German and an Italian version of this dashboard? In the left upper corner, you can find a new button available, translation. Clicking on this one, I am now able to set an Italian version of the dashboard and a German version. Clicking on the button here, create for all languages. This is the faster way. Now I have three pages for every language and I will have a different dashboard according to the language. Now I have three pages. I have three dashboard, one for English, Italian and German. Let me jump on the German one, for example, clicking on the link view and I have apparently the same standard layout with the same adaptive cards that I set up before. So I can start to change this look and feel by clicking on edit. And here, for example, I can keep this one. Maybe I can change the name. Let me click here. So there's no title here on the top news, but I can check another one. For example, this one, submit a ticket to the help desk. Here I can add the German version of the title. Send and see a ticket and an help desk. I'm going now to copy this one and I'm going to add this in the description as well. And then I will keep the adaptive card as is. Let me close this panel and I can click on publish. But before to go and to display how it works this I want to edit again and I want to remove all other adaptive cards. This adaptive cards, I don't need this. I will remove everything so we can see also the different. Let's move with this other. I'm going to select this and this. Okay, all good now for the German version of this dashboard. Let me publish it. Okay, I have now six adaptive cards. Let me go back now on the home page the home page display always in the, with the English version and I can see all adaptive cards already in. Now, what happens if I change language? Let me click here on this drop down and then on German. And here we go. I have now the German version of this dashboard. As you can see, I have the new title that I set up in German, send and see ein Ticket an den Help Desk. And of course, you have to set up the German version of this page. My page is home.aspx and as you can see, you can find this page under DA. Now, let me show you the structure of this dashboard. So it works in the traditional way of multilingual in SharePoint Online. This means that you will find 
a couple of folders because I added German and Italian as additional language for my intranet. And I have two additional folders, it and ye. When you turn on the translation for a page, basically a new SharePoint page is created under the right folder. If I get access to the DA folder, we can see that I created the company benefit page and then we can find the dashboard.aspx. And this is the German version of my Viva Connections dashboard, where I added sentence CI ticket and then a desk as a title and description. So this is how you can handle the multilingual capability in Microsoft Viva Connections. Of course, you can do the same by using a SharePoint framework. For example, if you are building a custom adaptive card, you can use the standard localization capability that you can find in SharePoint framework. In this way, you are able to develop just one adaptive card that will be rendered properly according to the language that the user is displaying the page. All right, we have seen how to turn on the multilingual support in Microsoft Viva Connections. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.